Welcome to day 19 of the test drive. We've just passed the halfway mark, and I'm sure that these daily teaching topics are challenging you in every aspect of your life. Our topic for this week is accepting the fact that we have a purpose that is not our own and learning how to yield to God's divine purpose and plan for our life so we can fulfill our life mission. Our topic for today is new ways will equal new days. Our teaching comes from Philippians chapter four, verse nine. I'm going to read to you from the Amplified Bible. It says, practice what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and model your way of living on it. And the God of peace of untroubled, undisturbed well-being will be with you. Another translation says it like this. You know the teachings I gave you and you know what you heard me say and saw me do. So follow my example and God who gives peace will be with you. Notice Paul is admonishing us. He's encouraging us. He's exhorting us all at the same time to learn from his godly habits and to repeat them. Now, the good thing about this is godly habits are not hard to develop because we as human beings are creatures of habit. And once we do something for 28 to 40 days, it now becomes a habit in our life. And one of the things that I want to encourage you to do and challenge you to do during this 28 day challenge is to do just that. Develop new godly habits like reading the word of God. Develop new godly habits like praying every day. Develop new godly habits like confessing the word every day. Now, that might seem easier said than done, but here's a little tip that'll help you do that. Take an existing habit and add a new habit on top of it. In other words, take something that's already a habit in your life and then add one of these godly habits to it. For example, you must have a habit like I do every day of taking a shower. I take a shower every single day. It's a habit in my life. I do it for about 15 to 20 minutes every single day. Well, when I first started speaking in other tongues, I took that existing habit for 15, 20 minutes every single day, and I added an, a godly habit on top of it by praying in other tongues. So I took an existing habit, added a godly habit, and now praying in tongues is a godly habit in my life that I do each and every day. We've got to remember, folks, that we are programmable as human beings. We may have programmed ourselves to do bad things at one time, but we can reprogram ourselves and now program ourselves to develop godly habits. Final thought that I want to leave you with today is developing godly habits will not only lead us to an undisturbed, peaceful life, but it will also cause us to have new ways and new days. God bless you.